The next one we'll take a look at is, say, the mystic. Now, the mystic uses a series of comb filters. You can do some really neat things with this. Now the crackle will introduce noise into the filters. And you have essentially two different filter types, and these are resonant filters, or comb filters, but you're adjusting how uh, each of these are being uh, manipulated. You can see how each of these are being shaped by the different envelopes. So your morph controls both the A side and the B side. Again, you have the same uh, routing matrix, and you have the same basic effect section as you did. Let's take a look at the Spectre. Now, the Spectre uses different combinations of oscillators with a, a spectral filter design. And you can go through and adjust how you want the configuration of your oscillators. You have six oscillators to choose from. Do you want them? sort of cascading into each other? Do you want just three oscillators? How does that all change the sound? And then adjusting the harmonic content. You can do manually, you can do custom shapes, you can do your own shapes. Again, you have morph controls. Really out of this world kind of sounds. Oh, yes. Same principles are applying in regards, you have oscillators, you have filters, which is what we're looking at on each side, how these filters interact with each other. LFO section, your envelope section, in terms of creating motion effects. And you have the same basic effects, which gives you distortion, delay, time-based effects, which is like your phaser, flanger, and chorus. And, uh, of course, you have your event section, which is how you can apply after touch velocity or the modulation wheel to any of these different parameters or effects.